Oh, okay. I gotta... I gotta, like, reconstruct it. Are the names fixed, or did you name them? They are fixed. I could name the main character, uh, but his original name is Matthew, and I just kept with the original name. Ooh, there's sound. Yeah, there's sound. <laughs> oh, man. I muted the sound earlier because I was testing out the sound to make sure that there was no audio delays in there. Apparently, I just forgot. Whatever. Not like, not like the sound is super important. And it's only 30 minutes. It'll be like one, one YouTube part. No big deal. This is kind of hot in here. I mean, can't leave it here. Probably just like cut the part around here, you know, where where a nice uh, fade to black transition happens, and I don't talk during it. I've been running into that issue a lot, where I'm talking through all the transition. Uh, it's been a real struggle. done with your tiny supper? I ate a guacamole bacon burger from Carl's Jr. that I bought like two days ago. Oh, and I also had some uh, pecan pie that I bought from Vons today. Um, I don't normally shop at Vons because their prices are incredibly ridiculous. Uh, but they sell a particular kind of pasta there. Uh, like chicken, broccoli, rigatoni. It's from like Bertoli. And it is so good. So good. But nobody else sells it except for like that specific Vons. And it's kind of far. Um, I only go there when I need to accomplish a very specific task. And I don't need to accomplish that very specific task, uh, hardly ever. Um, so I just like never go there. But whenever I do go there, I go look for that pasta. Sadly, they did not have it today or any of the pastas that I like today. In fact, even if they did have that particular pasta today, they were trying to charge me $7.99 for that pasta. When I can get that pasta at State of Brothers for $6.99. Sometimes five ninety nine was available, so I wasn't even gonna buy it anyway. They're trying to rob me over there. My goodness. What kind of pie? A con pie. I have it right there. I'm a, I'm a pecan pie kind of fan. Uh, apple pie is probably my second favorite pie, with uh, cheesecake being my favorite pie. And yes, cheesecake is a pie. It is not a cake. It's a pie. I also like cream cheese pie. The, a nice substitute for for uh, cream or uh, or cheesecake. We are gonna bust you up, Ryuko. We're going to bust you up. We lost a slap glove too. It's kind of disappointing. Angry Faye. You got a pasta place that made their own pasta per serving fresh? 
They have the clothes, unfortunately. Eyes are not a huge thing there. What? We have a place called Marie Calendars. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think I authorized the, the escape of this mountain rock through this particular destination here. I guess you're supposed to look at that and be like, well, the lizard did it, so I can do it too. Probably the only thing that this game has ever done to establish a precedent and then tell you, like, hey, you can actually do this too. Uh, what was I talking about? Marie Calendars? Um, we have Marie Calendars here in the United States. I don't know if they have Marie Calendars elsewhere. But, uh, Marie Calendars is a place that, like, I guess they're known for their pies, and they're actually pretty good pies. You know? Pretty solid pies. That's all I got to say about Marie Calendars. I, have, I don't think I've ever eaten anything that's not a pie from Marie Calendars. But I like their, their apple pies, their, uh, I think I've had their cheesecake like once. The cheesecake is like $30, $36 or something insane. So, uh, stay away from that. Inflate an enemy to bursting. What does that eat? If I chuck that over there, does that mean I get to take one? It does. Peter, why don't you come over there? Excellent. Uh, make our way back over there. Uh, there's a potential for something else to be over here, so I just want to double check. Thirty-six dollars. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy, and it's kind of small too. It's not like okay, there there is literally nothing else here. It's not um, it's not like you're getting this bomb diggity super pie thing. It's uh, it's, no, nah, you're getting this tiny little thing, man. Uh, let's go ahead and retreat. Alright, so I've caught up on all the gin. They want me to buy some dream leaf. I already bought the dream leaf. That means we're headed back to Belinsk. Wish I had teleport. Um, Marie Calendars also used to have this, um, this buy one get one pie sale many many years ago and I took advantage of that pie sale or I think they also have like this pie tin thing where like they make you pay like 75 cents for the pie tin as a deposit and if you return it you get the 75 cents back I think I have close to 20 25 of those pythons from Marie, Marie Calendars. So I've, I've, I've a good like 18 to 21 bucks is kind of lying around. Oh, you see the mountain rock. You gotta look through the freaking forest and, and the guy is just like on top of the peak, but like, you, you, stop tripping, man.
Um, but yeah, so I I could I can go make some money. Solid couple of dollars. You reckon I love pie? I do like pie. Although I I wouldn't go as far to say I I love it. Um, I usually only get like a very specific kind. I don't like lemon meringue, for example. Uh, oh, this is telling me to get some summons. I don't really care about the summons. Like I mentioned before. And I already missed one summon anyway. Just whatever. Um, yeah, so basically the only plot that applies, pies I get from recounters are the, the cream cheese. Because the cream cheese is just a really nice ghetto cheesecake. And... Cream cheese and... The other one. I need the slap glove. Could I have come back here? To get with the slap glove? I bet you I couldn't have. Bet you not. Yeah, cream cheese and apple. Those are my... Oh, and I, I get pecan pie every now and then. The problem with pecan pie is... It's like a... Like a sludge. I would show it, but it's it's like a hmm. The best way to describe a pecan pie, it's 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 like a pie. It has the pie crust. There's pecans on top, but if you're familiar with apple pie, there's like this um like jelly in it. An apple pie is just not you know pie crust and apple slices. There's like this, this jelly in there. And pecan pie is basically just pecans on top and everything under the pecans is like this, this sugary jelly. It's um, it's both destructive to your teeth, tasty, and uh, you can't can't really have much of it. Casamaral clan. How was she talking to us like this? It has long distance talking via the force. Uh, you like homemade crepes? You know what? You know what? I have never had a crepe before. Never, ever, ever. Uh, when I went to I went to school in San Francisco, and uh, there's a uh, like the Westfall Mall or the Westfield Mall or something like that. And in there. Well, one, they have this really nice place called the Buckhorn Grill, where they have like these like, I'm not going to call it roast beef, but it's kind of like roast beef, and it is just so good, and they have the au jus, au, au jus, au jus sauce or whatever, and it's just, oh good. I used to go there and get like four of those sandwiches, they're just delicious. Um, but also in like uh, the middle portion of that little like food court area, they had this place where they, they sold crepes. And I never got one because they're like $10. Who's going to pay $10 for like a, a, like 
a half of a pancake sandwich thing. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous. You know, it's, it's supposed to be like, what, a dessert or something? Homie, don't play that. Oh, you know, I... I wasn't playing along. I never had a crepe. Uh, you have your own family-owned recipe for them. Must be nice to have someone who's capable of, of making them. I have no such capabilities. Nor do I know anybody with such capabilities. We're running out of inventory space very quickly. Alrighty, so we got the storm gear. Alright, so I can give that to you. I can give that to you. Also an attack decrease. 11 defense. 5 defense. 8 defense. 4 defense. Alright, we're giving this to Le Isaac. Why you make them yourself? <laughs> I know somebody now, but you're far away. Yeah, you're you're a bit far away. Don't think I could reliably commission you for. But I'd love to try one someday. I just don't want to pay ten dollars for one. You know, I, 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 I do waste my money on junk food a lot. You know, I, I am one to appreciate a good, a good piece of junk food. Like you know, for example, uh, this pecan pie. This pecan pie probably cost me like eight dollars, but you know, I mean, it, it's tasty. You know, I got it. Um, but apple pie is gonna last me a lot longer than a crepe is. That was uh, not worth. Okay. Um. Let's just assume that the right is the correct place to go. Okay. Let's assume that north is the correct place to go. We will go down this way. Right, let's assume that the north is the correct place to go. And we will go that way. Got some craziness going on, so uh, let's uh, not go that way first. Let's uh, not go this way either, I guess. No worries, when you heat the plate, you make at least 20. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are they kind of cheap to make? Is it one of those things where... Where you can just like reliably make a bunch? For, for a low, low price. Okay, that's not good. Welcome, Sveta. Speciality is crepes with chili? I thought... Alright, now, now you lost me. I thought crepes were like... Like a... Well, first of all, what is a crepe? Is a crepe like... Like an omelette? Or is a crepe... Like a pancake? 
Because I thought, a, well, I mean, like, regardless, well, if a crepe is a pancake, then, then putting chili on that sounds different. I'm not going to say that it doesn't sound good because, you know, ch chili is good and pancakes are inferior to waffles, but they, they can be good. So, so, I mean, like, by combining them, you're not really ruining the flavors, especially if you make the pancake to complement the flavors of the chili. You know what I mean? But... Uh, that just seems like a very unorthodox pairing, if it is a pancake. Crepe super thin pancake, most of the time folded. Okay, okay. Yep, we have encountered them on multiple occasions. What is a... Enigmatic nation, the great scientific and military prowess. They fly in a giant airship. Zenith tribe. Okay. I left that in, that encyclopedia entry up for a very long time, but I did not read anything but like a few select keywords. Wow, you spell emperor with a Y. Okay, Empire, Imperor. You know, everybody is skeptic of chili recipes until they try one. That's because... So... The thing about chili... Is... You would think, like... This is not an easy thing to screw up, you know? It's like, you're not really gonna burn chili. But... You can, you can do so many interesting things to chili that just make it not appetizing anymore. You can over-season it, you know? You can uh, put too many ingredients in it that don't really mesh well with the chili. You can mess with the consistency of the chili. You know, it, it could be too thin, it could be too thick. You know, you, you can do a lot of crazy things to chili. So, I guess, I guess that's where the skepticism comes from. And, you know, like I said, you know, if, if you're making the, the, the pancake or, or the crepe in this case, if that flavor is to complement the chili, then go for it. I'm trying to think of like crazy things that I do with food that other people might not do. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Which is uh, regrettable. Can't think of anything. I will say, and I know, I know this reduces me as a person, and I'm going to lose a ton of respect for saying this, but twice over the last like two months, I put the milk in before the cereal. Twice. Now, I have a good justification for it, or at least what I feel is a good justification for it. But it still doesn't excuse me from such a grievous error. And the reason I did it is because, like, the milk, and I should clarify it was almond milk, it wasn't regular milk, but um, the milk is in the kitchen, okay? The cereal is in my room. So, I go to the kitchen to create a bowl of cereal, and then I bring it back to my room. So I have two options. I can, well, I have a couple options. 
I can do it the normal way. Put in the cereal, put in the milk, walk back over here. Problem is, when I do that, you know, I'm gonna have some, I'm gonna lose a, a significant amount of the crunch if I do that. So, not a good idea. I could bring the milk with me, but you know, typically I don't actually uh, wanna do that because I don't leave my room for very many reasons. So I'm just gonna have milk sitting here. And you know, I don't, I don't wanna get up to put the milk back. Well, the only solution to fix that issue is to put the milk in first. That way I get back to my desk, I put in the cereal, and then I just start eating it right away. I know it doesn't excuse me from doing such a grievous crime, but that's my justification. And other than that, I can't think of any crazy thing that I've done recently. Have, or at least something that I like. Sounds super logical, you like that? No excuses needed? See, but the problem is, is there's people out there that put the milk in before the cereal, and, and that's just their way of doing things, and it's crazy. It's crazy. I think I... I think that's... I think that's in my... my affiliate video that I gave to Twitch a while back. Welcome to the party, Sveta. Like I said, uh, being an affiliate is like uh, putting the milk in before the cereal. Or... Uh, dang, I don't remember everything. Oh, you, 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 you fuck a fool. Uh, wait. You just stole like a bunch of gin from people. Eric. Whatever. Let's move on. Uh, 